Hello everyone and welcome back to Cape Six by Patty Cakes. This is Patty and today we're working on Roxy's Weekly Challenge. We're on week number 11 and it is simple antique book page envelopes. However, I don't have any antique books. I think I have one and the paper in it is way too thin to make envelopes. So I'll be using uh, regular book pages scrapbooking paper and some paper that I made on my own. Um, you can use any type of paper you want actually. Um, but before we get started, I know I had uh, told you before that uh, I was going to show you some of the micro macrame jewelry that I make. And I don't have that ready yet, but I did want to show you what micro macrame is today. And today I have a ring on that I made. And I hope you can see the braid in it. I'll just bring it up some. And I'll take it off for you there. And as you can see, it's like interweaved. And then we're back to the top. And I have some crystals in here and then some small, uh, very small seed beads. So I just wanted to show you that so you'd know what I was talking about. And this is done with a nylon thread. Um, but hopefully um, I'll get some of those shown to you in the future. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. And I just wanted to show you what we're making. Um, they're just regular envelopes made out of book page. And as you can see, you know, it's like a normal envelope. And they're very easy to make. Now all you do is take a book page and you fold it up to however big you want the pocket part of it to be. And then when you fold it down, you don't want to fold it right to this top. You want to leave a little bit of space so it's easier to put things in. And it's kind of like it's the same as the envelopes that we did for the expandable um, envelopes, but um, they don't have the expandable part in them. But there is also another way I'll show you as well on how to make them. So you have even more room in the pocket part. Then you just fold it together and you can just either use your corner punch or just use your scissors like that and cut the edges of the flap and there you have your envelope and then what I'll do is I'll oh excuse me I need to get uh, something to put under my ink so it, I think I need a new ink pad on there too yep um because my ink's squeaking if I don't hold on to it. I know a lot of people use the non-skid plastic that you use to line your cabinets with, or they're also good to use for um, putting under rugs, the little rubber things you can tear. So then all you do is take your glue, and I'm using art glitter glue. I think it's my, one of my favorite glues so far that I've used. Everybody has their own preferences, so you can use whatever you like. Oops. Take my wet wipe clean that off and then you just make sure that it's together and there you have your envelope and if we have time we'll do a little bit of decorating at the end you see God, 30 40 about 10 till I have to stop okay now I'm gonna take a bigger sheet and just show you how to do that one you're gonna do the same thing and fold it up and when you make these you want to make sure that, 
um, you know, if, if you're using it in your junk journals, how wide your junk journal is going to be. Um, now, these longer ones you can always put sideways or you can paper clip them in. But you'll want to uh, figure that out before, you know, you decorate them because some you can just glue down and you don't have to decorate this side of it if you glue it down in your journal or this way you can open it up and you can also decorate and just put white paper on the inside of the other kind and have it for a journaling spot but for this one what we're going to do is after we fold it like we did the other one we are going to bend in the sides oh, about a half an inch okay and I'll do the other side about a half an inch. If you want, you can measure it if you want to be exact. And I probably should have bent those up before I folded the envelope. Whatever's easiest for you. But the reason why I'm saying that is because you're going to have to cut part of this out. Now, I noticed when um, Rachel... From Roxy Creations did hers. She left this part, and then I saw the paper outpost, and she left this part. I am also, uh, I think, going to leave this part. So what you want to do is, hmm, let me see. We're going to cut this out, but we're going to cut. Let me see this way. Here we go. We're going to cut in it at an angle below this crease right here. Like that up to the fold. And then you're going to cut the strip off all the way down. And I'm cutting crooked. So again, we're going to want to angle it here. And then cut all the way down on this fold. And I'm cutting crooked again. Just do the best that you can do. It's just fun, so no worries if it's crooked. It can always be covered or fixed. Okay. So then what you'll do, you see how crooked I am this. <laughs> So I'm just going to cut that off real quick. Oh boy, I really did it crooked. And I did a big top on there. This top part's crooked as well. Okay, like that. And then probably could fold this even down further because I have it pretty far away. Okay, like that. I'm just going to flatten it out here a little better. And then what I'm also going to do on the ends down here, we're going to cut those at an angle as well. So they don't show at the top and there's not as much bulk just like that and the same with this side and then all we do is glue both sides of this oh before I do that I want to shape the top of my envelope and on this one I can't see the we're just going to fold both sides down to make it look like a regular envelope. Try to get them a little even if you can. And we'll glue those down first. Just gonna 
push it down. Make sure that's sealed. And then as you can see, it opens a lot further than the other envelope do does when you fold in the sides like that. So you have a lot more room in the pocket part. Glue this one down a little better up here. Didn't quite get the glue to the top. And there you go. And we'll just ink around that so you can see. Oh, my pin is not going down in my glue. Okay. And you don't have to ink if you don't want to, if you don't have um, Distress Ink, which this is Tim Holtz Distress Ink Vintage Photo. You can always use shoe polish. Or you can take uh, some instant coffee and make your own, make it thick and put it on with a sponge. Now, as you can see, since I put this up so high, since I folded the sides of the envelope, it's shown over here. So I'm going to want to fold it down even further. And I already messed up because I put my ink there, but that's okay because I can cover that up with some lace or ribbon or something like that or collage on it. So it doesn't really matter. Like I said, there's no mistakes. We can always cover them up. Just want to have fun. That's what this is all about, having fun making our junk journals and the embellishments that go in them. So there we have another one. Okay. Now I have um, paper that I made. Um, I made this in a previous video um, with, uh, what do you call, Amazon packing paper. And I ended up putting, um, oh, what is it called? Mod Podge on it. And then I also, I got Mod Podge on there, uh, on the back side put music paper, which I didn't really need to because this is really thick stuff now. <laughs> and it's going to be hard to bend. But I just wanted to show that you can really use anything. And we're just going to press that down real well. And then we'll fold this down. Try to get a little even there. Okay. And I'm just going to glue up the sides. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to curve the edges. Again, we just put them together and we're just going to round it. Okay. Then glue the sides. glue that down and I'm going to really hold this for a second because this paper is so thick. Oops. Knocking things off my table. <coughs> and there we go. We have a cute little envelope and if you want And also do the edges of this. With the vintage. Well, you can use whatever color you want. 
actually. It does not have to be vintage photo. I have the same color pink as this I could use as well. As you can see, I got a little bit there. I'm just going to cut that off. I'll use my bigger scissors. There we go. Still trying to come unstuck. It's so thick. If it comes apart more, I can always go back and put a little bit more glue. No big deal. really pretty. Okay, now I have a bigger one as well, but I'm not going to try it with that material. I think I'll make some other things with it. Now this is uh, scrapbook paper. Oh, well, that's pretty. Um, so we're going to do the same thing. I think I'm just going to fold it up this way and this is going to be a really big envelope and then just bend it down on the next one we'll maybe do the sides in this one I'll just glue it down like this I do want to shape the top and you don't want to pinch it down here although mine's close to it but if you want to make you can make whatever shape you want again and I'm just gonna make a curve and make another curve to the end. Uh, I made that a little funky there. It should have been all one. I don't want it to go in. Oops. Let's see if I can fix this. There we go. I didn't want it to go into a point there. It's a little better. And then we'll just glue it down. It's as easy as that. See, I did it again. The envelope's clear down here. So, I just fold it down some more. Use the bone folder to flatten it out, and I'll have to cover that up again because I messed up. This is what not to do. At least I didn't ink it that time. I keep forgetting whenever you cut the flap, 
that it's going to make it shorter up on this edge so it will show the top part of your envelope so you got to kind of watch that and I keep forgetting I'll learn one day I need to remind myself to put more ink in my pad and change this. Nub on here. another one. So on this one, oops, oops, sorry about that. I don't want this to be the outside. So what I'm going to do on this one, let me get my scoreboard. If I can get it out of here real quick. Got stuff in my way. Whoops. Something I dropped on the floor and stuff down. Sorry about that. Okay, so what we're going to do on this one, because the paper is thicker, I'm going to do a half an inch score on one side. And you don't have to. I'm just doing it because I'll fold it crooked. I'll turn it over. Do a half inch on this side. Okay. And then we're going to fold both sides in. Use our bone folder to get it pressed down pretty good since it's so thick. Do the same on the other side. to however big you want it. This one was quite a long piece. I think it was 12 inches. And then fold this down. It should be about even, I think. And then we're going to do the same thing and cut these off of the envelope like we did the other one. Also gonna cut the angle in on the ends here. Take out some of that bulk. Okay. And then we're gonna give this a shape up here. Let's 
see. There, that one worked. Oh, this looks a little crooked, but I'm not going to worry about it. What I'm going to do on this one this time, too, is ink this part. And then we'll glue it down and ink the rest. I cannot make a straight line with my glue. So how is everybody doing today? It was a beautiful day today and my little dog took off, but I got her when she went down to the two neighbors down and it was a little chilly out, but the sun was shining, so it was still beautiful. And it got me out of the house, so I'm not gonna complain. And I wanted to thank you all for your prayers for my brother. He is at a respiratory center right now. They got him out of ICU, but um, I just heard from my father a little while ago, and he's not doing too well. He's there to try to get his lungs to breathe on their own again, and so far it's not going well they had to put him back on the BiPAP machine and uh, his oxygen keeps dropping so they said we may be looking at three to five weeks of him being there because his lungs are still so bad poor guy and nobody's allowed going in to see him and his wife took him lunch yesterday and they wouldn't let him have it. But he has been eating well on his own. Or was, I, I don't know about now. He's been having a really rough go of it trying to go without the oxygen. So... I appreciate your prayers. Oops. Then my <laughs> little grandson, Koopy, he learned how to climb out of his crib today. He's one. And he fell and caught his lip open. But uh, he's fine. They took him to the ER. And they said it didn't go all the way through. So he didn't need stitches. So that was a good thing. Okay, I got some other. These are digitals from Victoria Designs. And I thought I'll make a few of these maybe too. And these papers she has are so pretty. I've had this kit for a long time. Um, and keep using a little bit here and a little bit there. They're so pretty because there's just so much when you get a kit. There's tons and tons of different pages. I bought a large bundle when I first started junk journaling and uh, can still use them because there's just a lot. And of course I'm going to be working on a purple journal. As you can see there's some purple in here tonight. So that is why there's so much purple. And the inside is also hers, the nice paper in there, the marble paper, rather.
sorry, I keep boiling it to myself. <clears throat> Forgetting I have the camera on. Oh, our power went out the other night. And I was so, so thankful that we have our wood burner this year. Because it was so cold. And having that heat <laughs> was so nice. Okay, we got another one here. Now this one I'm going to do the other way that I showed you. And this time I'm going to wing it again with the sides. So we're just going to do about a half an inch or so. smaller ones for some reason I just think they're they're very cute okay and then we're gonna cut cut the sides again Cut it crooked again and cut the ends down here. Yeah, that is quite crooked. I'll have to fix that. in the way. And be careful you don't cut yourself. Yeah, I think I need to fix that. I have my hand in the way. <laughs> the way. Okay. Now you can see where I creased that. I didn't quite Got on the other one again, but it's no biggie. I'll we'll glue it. And for those of you that haven't seen one of these challenges, um, we're just trying to see how many of the item that she uh, makes. Oops, forgot to cut this off. Um, how many we can make in 45 minutes just to build up our stash. So it's not really any hurry, but you're supposed to try to have them completed in the 45 minutes, which mm, there's no way I'm going to be able to decorate all mine in 45 minutes. Some of these, like usually when I make these too, I don't, really like decorating them until I go to put them in whatever journal I'm going to make because um, I don't know, you know, what design or what color I'm going to do. But for these purple ones, I know, you know, I can 
go ahead and do those, but it, the regular book pages and stuff, yeah, I probably wouldn't decorate them until I go to put them in a journal. stock to put behind this it makes it easier to do the thin paper like this and I forgot to do the inside of this one behind it like that to hold it. I had inky fingers, but no biggie. Okay, now maybe we'll decorate a couple. That's the fun part. So, I think I want to do this one first. I just love the colors on it. And let me see what we have here. using a, this is Stamperia paper pack and it did come with, oops, some ephemera. That didn't go with it, but oh, that would look really pretty to hold it shut, huh? I think I'm going to use that. Or maybe I shouldn't because the point on there. That might get messed up. Let me try a different one. Maybe something like that one. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. Kind of like that one, too. These ones have little butterflies, so I don't want really to use them because they'll get messed up. Every flower blooms in its own time. I like that one too. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, then all you do is glue half of it down. Oops, I forgot to close my glue. Make sure you don't glue the flap down. Just get it far enough that you know it'll hold the, the envelope flap. And then take that out to give this time to dry. And there you go. And then on the other side. Boy, I got that crooked. Yep, it's not going to let me move it. Oh, wow. Well. I got some. Oh, wait. Maybe this one. I don't know. Some of this trim. To go down the back. Yes, no. Look, that one's busted. Let's see over here. They're all there. I don't think it's long enough. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it is. Or should I have it hanging down from the bottom? That's awful long, though. If you put it on a page, top of a page, it would work, but that's way too long. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not going to use that one. I like this one, too. This one's pretty. Put it there. Down here. I think I'd like it down here. Let me see. Stick this in. Let's see. Right here. Nope. I think I'll put it down here. No. <laughs> I keep changing my mind. 
I'm going to put it up here. So we're going to take some Fabri-Tac, Beacon Fabri-Tac. Just put a little bit of glue across the top. See which is the right side. It's this side. So just put that down right there. Okay, my fabric scissors and just cut this off. the side that we I'm gonna have this to go over the edge of a journal page maybe or no I can paper clip it in I'm just gonna do both sides regardless at least I'll have one done in 45 minutes the other one started at this little this is a, a paper one or this lace is pretty big. Whoa, that's way too big. Oh, we could make that a pocket. What do you think? That would be cute. Maybe I'll do that. Oops, cut some of that off. And which side's the front? side. Oh, there's another little butterfly. I know there were some bigger ones, but I don't know where they went. I'm going to glue so far up and then if I don't get it all, then I'll go ahead and add more glue. which side was the front and which was the back. Do it about there. Let's see. Still got a little bit more. There's fuzz all the oil over this, but I don't want to get it as It'll take my nail polish off. I'll get it in a bit. That one's good. So I'll put the cap back on. Okay. I'll take the fabric scissors.
And there we got a little pocket. And then I'll put a the ink stamp up there. Let me see. this one. Need my black ink. And I think this one will work. I'm going to use archival ink for this. some sort here. I wonder where this blue one would go. That's quite big. And it doesn't quite go. Let me see. Sorry for reaching over y'all. I'm dropping everything. I'm going to get my labels real quick. Yeah, tons of papers everywhere. I think they're in this one. Okay. Let's see. This one's says remarks though. How about a bird? When you put something in the pocket though, you probably won't see it, but it has something on there for now. Like it's an address or something. And it's a little crooked. Okay. I want something here. Um, where are my flowers? Hmm. Pink one. 
think the bigger one looks better. Yeah, we'll get with that. I have some other ones, but yeah, I don't know what I did with them. Vintage button or something on there. It's one of my little doilies I made. use a dry wipe because it kind of gets down in there and gets the glue out in between lace and it's it, it's not as shiny there we go and then a button maybe um let's see Some of these are really filthy that I got in thrift stuff. No, we don't, I don't think I want white. I think I want a color button. There we go. Let's go for maybe purple. I don't know if it's in with the pink. Nope. There we go. These were all thrift find. Ooh, this blue color is so pretty, but it needs thread. That's too big. It's a wooden button. That would look cute. I think I'll go with that, but I need to thread it. And you can also, also um, sorry, you can also stitch around these if you like with the sewing machine. Oh, well, my 45 minutes is up, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. So, <laughs> I didn't get any done. Whoop. Almost busted that. But, it's okay. Mm, let me see. I had some thread out. Uh, a thread pack. Where'd you go? There we go. This is my leftover threads. This is actually waxed polyester. Eh, maybe you should do pink. Pink? I don't have purple here. Well, I got this, but mm, I've got a knot in it. I guess we'll just use this color. Or we could use black. I was slow poking it today, huh? Yeah, I think I'll use black since there's black here and this blue doesn't quite match the button.
go. Just hold that down for a second. I guess now my 45 minutes are up. So at least I did get one done. I got this one done. And you can always add more. And we have these ones done, not decorated, but they're together. So we got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Done. And you can use them as they are or decorate them, which I will most likely decorate them. So I thank you for taking the time to join me today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.